one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1988 Buick Skylark Limited. This is a one owner car and not only that, this car only has 26,000 original miles. Super good gas mileage getting little car and I'm going to go around and show you up close in a second. You can see there's a little ding in the grill right there. A couple little things like that. There's a piece of trim missing on this side. A couple minor uh, visual flaws, I guess you'd say. Um, and that's about it. The car is just beautiful. Whoever had it seems to have kept it in the garage. It's not all faded out or nothing in any way. Uh, no foul orders, no smells or nothing. Uh, check out my website. There'll be about 60 to 80 pictures of it on there. It's www.oneownercarguy.com and you can see all that on there. And Check out my channel. I've got about 760 videos on here. And you can see a lot of clean, classic, one and two owner, low mile cars. So, that's kind of your once around. Now I'll go up close and show you any kind of this stuff here. Um, I do sell a lot of one and two owner cars. They're not flawless. You're going to find something wrong with them. Like this one, it's got some little spots on the paint. This guy touched it up in a few places. But these years did that a little bit. Small little thing right there. A couple pieces. Yeah, it's just kind of common. This guy touched it up a few places. Crack in the windshield. And kind of this stuff right here. Now I could easily have this repainted for you if you wanted. But it's definitely a got some spots in different places. What I would do is just drive the heck out of it. There ain't no need to do none of this. It's in great shape. Touch it up right there. Touch it up right there with a little crack. Now going down the sides, it's clean. You're missing that lower trim. Very simple piece. Um, little scuffy wear mark there. Little ding right there. Some scuff. Look at this. A bit of a scuff right there. Oh, that's probably where he knocked his trim piece off. Clear coat laminate coming off the wheels. You can see there a little bit. And a little wear right there. That's about all I can say about this side. Um, sunroof. And I've had people ask me why I pick my cars. Why are you picking the car apart? Well, I want to show you everything about it. Anything I can think of on it. Underneath this car is clean as can be. Hopefully it's not too late in my low level light adjustment. Low level light? Yeah, I think that's what it is. There you go, it kicked on. You can see the oil pan's clean. Well, 26,000 miles. Let me get underneath it here on this side. Just super, super clean. California car. Check my ad. I put an auto check and all that in them. A couple little marks right there. Looks like you ran over some, yep, ran over some road tar. Road tar. A little chippy thing like that again. And pretty good on the side except for that front fender on the top. A little touch up spot there and a, this there and a chip there and a chip in that little piece. And, about it. There was a scuff on the oh that grill piece that I showed you earlier. The scuff right here. I'd say the tire is 50% or so. 40 to 60. Clean car. A couple more of these little chips right there. Ready fast on that. Ding right there, and that's all I got to talk about. Um, each one of the wheels has its own little unique thing, like that. Guy could use the um, hammered looks of spray paint. Oh man, that looks so good. I leave these on because they are kind of cool. I get people wanting to buy them off me all the time. They are collectible. A lot of people do collect them. Chrome luggage rack. That is your inside, I mean your outside, your once around, twice around, 
showing all the damage around. Um, about five minutes. It's not that bad. So, www.oneownercarguy.com. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do your interior review. Door panel's in great shape. Dirt there for me climbing in and out. Pedals ain't got no wear on them. Most nothing does. The seats are very sporty. Uh, that's the auto check over there in the seat. I'll get that for you to look at. Love that sporty wheel. I'm going to show you the back one here while we're at it. Show you in the trunk. Twenty six thousand one owner miles. Look at that seal. Yeah, it's got the little chips and dings and things I showed you. Light works and all. But that's life. It's got a couple things like this. Oh, there you go. This is like it is. And I guarantee you his antenna went out. He got it all the way up and unplugged it. It was sitting there going hum. Exactly what I thought happened. And that's just can be put back around whenever you want to hook it back up. Get a new one most likely. Oh, you can look that up. If you want, there's your service parts identification. Uh, this probably ain't gonna come up. And you can't really see down in there. But there is a spare. And a jack. Okay, other side. Looks great. Yeah, it's just nice as it gets. Any questions, Nathan? 406-544-6919 oneownercarguy.com Some people, one of my subscribers said, man, I got your number memorized after watching your videos. Yeah, I probably say it a few times. I definitely say it too much and I try to keep a grip on it. I forget if I said it at certain parts. And I think I probably try to say it about five times in a video. Here's your auto check. One owner. Super high score, basically almost double the average. And you can see from the registration records, you see on this one, but you can see on this one even better because it takes out everything. 19, 22, 22, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26. You go back a thousand miles a year. So, nice car, nothing wrong with this seat. I just had it like that to show you the auto check. I'm going to go ahead and show you under the hood, since I'm doing the exterior kind of walk-around deal here. Yeah, baby. Clean as can be. These sixes are ultra reliable motors and with this kind of miles on it, it's just barely broken in. Triple A battery. Uh, lighting coming up. I wonder if the lights have to be on this year. I don't know. A little tear in your hood insulation up there. Clean as can be. Now to get back inside. Let's see here. Just start somewhere and go over it with you, I guess. I get confused on what I've done and what I haven't done. I haven't got interior yet. Watch the RPM gauge. 
pretty cool. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna focus on that and do forward works. Front tilt down. Front tilt up. Back tilt up. Back tilt down. Go forward a little bit more. Give me a little bit of front tilt. I love it. Metric. Kilometers. Ooh, with the little Buick thing there. What is that? Fuel gauge. Oh wow. There's down to a quarter, and then when you push this, it's empty to a quarter. So it'll tell you right down to how much you got to the littlest amount. I love the way them slide open. Pretty cool. Crack in the windshield, I think I showed you that earlier, right there. Um, hi, 6, 11, 10, 26, 4, 79. Oh! He must have been like, well, damn it, I gotta get rid of this thing, I might as well, I gotta tell you to change the oil. Okay, no foul odors or anything. Not some kind of a smoked in all car, this is a clean car. Radio works and everything. It's a little picky on, um, I don't want to get anybody and play anybody's music there. Um, it's a little bit touchy on the volume turned down and up. I showed you this. Show you again. Wow, 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 wow. I like that. Okay. Everything works there, but when you turn them off, that one stays on. Don't know why. Um... Low to high, all that works. And your interior lights come on along with it if you want. Can't wear this out, that's all there is to it. Let's do some windows. One, and up. Rear and up. Back. There you go, tilt steering. I got my low lights on here, what do I do? There we go. Okay, well, AC blows kind of cool, but then again, it's evening time here, and I'm going to just say the AC needs a charge or a fix it. little smudge right there. I don't know what. I love the center shift on this. Now, I have somebody dogging on my cars. Oh, that little scratch is right there. I get people dogging on my cars. I love the brushed aluminum. Or brushed anodized stainless. I don't know. Like, oh, you can't love that. That's just a little uh, 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 car. Family, that's a grandma car. You can, Yeah, this car gets 28, 30 miles a gallon and has 26,000 miles. Yes, I do love this car. This is a super cool car. Super classic and collector to me. I, I dig it. Peppy. Economical. And a car gets you in trouble for speed if you're not careful. Right up to 40, just like right now, when you get the gas. That's the speed limit here on this street. Little things, like right on this. I'm gonna try this again. Brakes work fine, but they may be getting time for replacement in the next seven, eight thousand. Um, can't really believe that, that would be the case with twenty-six thousand miles. But it stops on a dime. I mean, that's all there is to it. But little things like that, shocks. Who knows? Yeah, it's only got twenty-six thousand, but they are twenty-five years old or so. Uh, it rides fine, rides nice, smooth. You'd never, I would never, re I wouldn't replace these shocks when I got it, no way. At some point, you might have something go out. I don't know, it's an old car. Um, I get some people like, oh, hey, call me up six months later because their alternator went out. Are you serious? I mean, yeah, that kind of stuff happens. I, I sell you a good car and such. I mean, we all torqued over a $40 alternator or something down the road in a few months. I mean, things can go out. But the car runs, drives, shifts great. There ain't nothing. I would would not hesitate to jump in and drive this thing Montana, drive this thing over to Florida. I wouldn't hesitate to drive it anywhere. 
I also have AAA, and if I blow a stupid little $12, $15 hose, they'll tow me right to where I need to be and I'll get a hose. Um, shipping, truthfully, shipping's the way to go. Um, between a couple hundred bucks to LA to 395 to 995, I can get it anywhere else in the United States you want. Super quick little car. Yeah, the brakes are good, everything's good on it. Okay, here we are back. One owner carguy.com. Love that digital odometer. Just a super cool little car. You know, for what you'd pay for a new economical car nowadays and look just like everybody else on the road, that's part of what makes this a cool car. You just don't have a lot of these on the road. And the ones that are on the road have 300,000 miles on them, 200,000 miles on them. Not like this. My window is deceiving me as to how I want them to look. I got it. Okay. Nathan, 406 544 6919. Light warning. I'm going to leave them on to where you can see it. Cruise control. Oh, by the way, the end button is off. Well, as I was getting out here, I noticed that, you know, this window's probably a little slower than the rest. Works fine. Might need a little lubing or something if you wanted to. That is the end of it. Showing you everything. 26,000 original miles. It's in great shape. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. www.oneownercarguy. Check that out. Lots of pictures on there. And check out some of my other videos. Man, there's 760 of them on here. Lots of one and two owner classic Euro and muscle cars. And I sell them cheap. Also, check out www.cerealmarshmallows.com. Same marshmallows as in your morning breakfast cereal. And mm -mm, is it good? Import, export, I'll ship this to any port in the world and cheap. Call me up. Thanks for watching.